Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Desk Startfully. Here I talk about everything home decor, DIYs and plant care. As you guys may already know, we recently moved into our rented apartment here in Goa and we've slowly been doing it up one room at a time. But the space that we were most eager to get started with is of course the living section because this is where we would entertain our friends and family. But this is an open floor plan so we had to take our time thinking about how this is going to look because it opens up not just as our living space but as well as the dining and then goes on into the kitchen and bedrooms respectively. So the wall that I'm standing against it's right after the foyer and it's the only wall that we have for the living section where we can do something and of course where our TV is going to be placed because as you guys may know if you've seen the home tour video we have a large window on both sides of the living section one opening up into the terrace and another into a small balcony so a lot of uh, art or anything else that we may want to display will have to be done against this wall so that's where we're going to get started we're going to make a few changes in terms of the lights because we just have a tube light on this wall we're going to add a decorative element there and i will give the links to whatever we've purchased on amazon in the description box let's get started I've long been fascinated with design elements that pertain to the mid-century modern look and I really wanted some mid-century modern lamps for our living room so when I found this on Amazon I got really excited because they're super budget friendly especially considering that this is a rented home I didn't want to invest too much this lamp per piece is 500 rupees so that's quite cost friendly of course since it's that cheap it also means some compromise in terms of quality while the glass globe is perfect we don't like the paint finish that they've given on the metal aspects of the lamp so i'm going to quickly give this a coat of spray paint in a shade that i would prefer and then we'll get to installing it We've completed installing the lamp on the wall and it's time to move on with the next DIY which is creating some open shelves on this wall. For the open shelves, I'm just going to simply repeat the process that I've done earlier in our kitchen open shelf video except this time we have some additional tools that we've invested in to make our job easier. Also, instead of adding a stain to the wooden planks, we're just going to be painting it white so that it merges more seamlessly with the wall and reduces the visual clutter with the wall having quite a few elements against it already. Now that we're done with the light and the shelf installation on this particular wall, it's time to complete the whole setup with the TV and the TV console. But before bringing those elements in, I'd like to first tackle the floor space because the TV console is going to sit on the rug. Now we've purchased a lovely jute rug which I've already spoken about earlier in our Amazon haul video. I'm just going to roll it out in place here and then bring in the rest of the elements. When it comes to the TV console, I didn't want a pure media console which happens to be very sleek and with limited amount of storage for things besides the TV and related products itself. So I wanted something more along the lines of a chest of drawers because we have a lot of small items to store and without any other built-in modular furniture around the house, maximizing storage was of prime importance for us. In terms of the design, it's more of a mid-century modern design it has this beautiful rich wood texture and the polish is along a reddish hue so it gives that warm contrast beautifully it also has few metal elements coated in gold this again provides a nice luxurious touch to the living section it's time to move on and show you guys the rest of our furniture for the living section now when it came to the main seating area i wanted a really nice sofa it's something that i've long wanted because in the past we've had furniture that were predominantly wood for this one we've gone ahead with a completely upholstered couch from urban ladder when it comes to the color we've 
try to opt for something that's not too dark but not really light and hard to maintain either so it's a grey coloured couch and it goes really well with the rest of the colour palette for the living section which is also a coastal inspired colour palette so I really love it it's a sectional it's comfortable and can seat quite a few people at the same time after we put that in place we will quickly go through the additional seating options that we've also purchased with the sofa now in place it's time for me to bring in our coffee table I've opted for a nested table design and I've gone for a circular shape just to bring some more variety in the living section now once again this is a solid wood table it has beautiful grains and we've opted for a stain that matches the TV console in fact both these pieces are from the same seller and I will give the link in the description box below besides the main seating which is our sofa we wanted some additional seating options as well and for that we purchased the nest root footstools that I've already shared in the Amazon haul video. These are very convenient because they can be moved around, they're very lightweight and can be used as additional seating. But besides these two stools, we also wanted an accent chair. So when I found this beautiful cane chair at a local shop, I really wanted it and uh, we thought it will go perfectly well. So we purchased it. Of course, it didn't come with cushions. So we had to make a few additional purchases to make the chair comfortable. But now it's one of my favorite places in the living room to sit and watch TV or read a book. With the furniture in the main seating section now complete, it's time to set up our little study space. We always wanted a corner like this outside of the bedroom and this is rather ideal. So we've purchased a little table that's just sufficient to get our laptop work done and a foldable chair that we can carry across different rooms as well. The table is from a seller we found on Amazon and I will give the link in the description box below. The chair is a foldable chair from Urban Ladder. The last design element I want to share with you guys is our pendant style chandelier. Let me quickly take you through some footage we had shot earlier when we first got these lamps. I've been fascinated with all kinds of lights and lamps but I have an extra soft spot for pendant style chandeliers and when I first walked into this house and saw the tall ceiling I knew that this is my chance to create some sort of statement lighting for the open floor living plants. I wanted something along the lines of a cane or rattan lamp or a bamboo lamp so we went to a local cane shop here in Goa and we found these beautiful lantern shaped bamboo basket lamps and I picked up three of them. They have small variations in size, so they look nice when they're bunched together. The problem, however, was that we have a single electrical point and it's the high ceiling, of course, itself poses a challenge. So we needed some professional help. So we went to a local light shop again and they were able to help put this together. So what they did is create a top unit, which is this, and it will go right up to the ceiling and attach itself there. And then we have this central unit almost looking like a fan with three arms. And to each of these is one basket uh, bamboo lamp has been attached. So the wires run internally and it looks clean and aesthetic. We also have these clutch wires that you can see between the top unit and the central unit. That's because each of these baskets have variations in the weight and since you want them to be straight and not lopsided, we had to get these installed as well. And now that all the furniture is in place, it's time to get on with the styling aspects. In order to help me style our living room in a unique manner, the brand Casa Decor has been gracious enough to send me some of their gorgeous decor products, such as these lovely marble coasters, this beautiful watering can, a lovely globe that I've always wanted, and this rather unique plant stand.
And so with several weeks of planning, shopping, waiting for our products to arrive and setting it up, we've finally completed the living room makeover and I'm so glad to be able to share the final reveal with you. And so the living room has gone from a raw empty space into one that reflects our personalities and likes. We've styled the space with a lot of things that we enjoy such as plants, some colourful artwork and of course all the furniture elements are in materials that we really love. Real wood, bamboo, cane, jute and cotton fabric. So it's become a space that we enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis. I really hope you guys liked this video and as always thank you for taking the time out to watch it and share your thoughts with me. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.